So welcome to the grand finale of ETH Denver 2021. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes to thank everybody for coming. We had an incredible amount of support from our sponsors, from the community, from our partners, from the state of Colorado, um, and the list goes on and on. I mean, it really is a true testament to what we're all about, which is a community innovation festival. And it's just been mind blowing for a pandemic, you know, where a lot of people are like, you know, it's really hard to get engagement and it's really hard to like, you know, get people to pay attention. And I, I totally agree. It's hard. It's very difficult. But our team, our stewards, our support staff have, have just done an amazing job at executing an event that I'm just I'm just honored to be a part of. And so I wanted to share something with you just that that really blew our minds. I shared the other morning some of our initial engagement statistics, um, some of which that didn't include some of our side streams with like chess and poker and Minecraft and gaming with Gov and these other things, even the DJ chill stream. We hadn't collected all the statistics, but we have. And if I can get my my slides to work here. We had so far 31,645 unique viewers on Twitch. Now, we thought maybe we would get something like five to 7,000 people, and we got almost 32,000. And that doesn't mention the almost 8,000 views on YouTube for sort of historical content. So we're not blending the two just to make sure we're not double counting. And we had just under 3,000 accepted applications from 94 countries. Now, we didn't hit our 50-state goal. We're missing Mississippi, North Dakota, and South Dakota. So if you have friends in those states, tell them to come to the after party. At least we'll get our full 50 for the full event. So please reach out to your friends, make sure that they come and it's gonna be a good time because I don't know if everybody knows, but we have RAC and Clinton Sparks putting down tracks for two hours and our virtual closing party. So in addition, we had almost 1500 people visit the virtual castle. For a virtual event, that's insane. It's so cool to see that. And my favorite, Crypto Twitter, 1.56 million impressions. Now, we were the only event in the last year to actually produce a hallway track. And this is the part that's immeasurable. It's just, you know, the, the serendipity, the interactions, the old friends that you happen to run into in these virtual spaces that we created is just, it's immeasurable and it's invaluable to really keeping the spirit of the community alive. And by, by proxy of this, we happen to just all of a sudden build the largest Ethereum ecosystem event ever produced. And this includes DevCon. So our goal is to continue with the virtual spaces and places to make as much inclusion possible as, as, as we possibly can and um, to continue to grow the Ethereum and the Web3 decentralized world spirit by doing that. So even in real life next year, we'll still continue to build a, a combined presence to make sure that we don't leave anyone out. So the question really becomes what's next for the community? I mean, we just, you know, had this great event. We're about to see the finalists on main stage here competing for prizes. We're talking about like, where is it going to go from here with the state and some of these other activities? Well, I'm going to tell you. So after ETH Denver's completed, ETH Denver is officially moving from what was formerly a wholly owned subsidiary of Opolis Inc., which is obviously my day job. Um, and that was always done to like for insurance purposes, event purposes, and just liability purposes and compliance purposes. But we're moving it out. We're moving it to the community and we're moving it to a co community cooperative DAO. And there are three entities that will be part of this family. Um, underneath the umbrella of the Limited Cooperative Association that the placeholder title for that is Buffacorns United LCA. And that would be the ETH Denver LLC Events Organization, the Colorado Jam Incubator, and Buffacorn Ventures. And the state-related uh, activities will happen in the Colorado Jam Incubator and the other community investments that we make to support projects coming out of the ecosystem will happen through Buffacorn Ventures in the form of convertible grants that ultimately are just grants until these projects happen to come do something 
And that's where, where the community will accrue value because the more of these projects that actually contribute back, the more of the value will actually accrue for the community as a whole. I'm also excited to announce the Spork token. So this Spork actually had something to do with all of this because it is the preferred choice of Bufficorns everywhere. And Bufficorns everywhere who are members of this community uh, DAO cooperative will be hist retroactively provide, you know, airdrop the sporks that they've earned based on their contributions. And these are for, you know, speaking, sponsoring, judging, participating, hacking, consuming, attending, any of these things. Um, er they all hold different values in the ecosystem, but everyone will become a shared owner. And these spork tokens in terms of cooperative law actually represent rights to future profits and dividends. And so we will actually be um, completely decentralized when it comes to the profit taking of the organization. And um, if you want to stake your tokens, you can do that too to earn enhanced voting rights around decisions around the community and things like that. And there will be continue to be a stewardship committee and other groups that are sort of executing on specific functions. We're going to launch this in the early part of Q2 this year. Um, there's a few housekeeping things that we need to do in order to get a fair launch, which is the full accounting of the historical contributions and then getting up the mechanism so that you can claim your tokens based on your contributions and also put in a request for tokens should we have missed something because even back in 2018 when we first did this, we weren't keeping great records on certain things. And we're not selling sporks. So this isn't going to be something we're not trying to do an ICO. Uh, we're not trying to go out and raise a bunch of money and, and do exit this or that. We're trying to reward those that contributed to the growth and building of this, of this wonderful ecosystem. I'll make sure my microphone just stays in the picture here. Now, if you'd like to earn enhanced sporks, you will be able to do that. The first option is we are offering a rare NFT package, both a limited edition golden spork and a This is the Gway t-shirt featuring... Gway. Gway is, is the kid of the end, and it's sort of an homage back to our roots and, and our humility around learning. Um, but this t-shirt, I'll show you just in a second what it looks like, will be only 50 of them made. And these will be wearable in CryptoVoxels in Decentraland in future ETH Denver events. And you'll also receive a VIP ticket to um, ETH Denver 2022, 50% off in perpetuity at buffercorn.com. And you will also receive um, Buffercorn Wall of Fame mentions and recognition for your contribution. Now, the price is one ETH. Now, keeping in mind that we've charged up to $1,500 previously for VIP tickets, this is actually quite a steal, especially with the consideration that this is going to fund our community grants pools and to support the community and the biddlers that actually are part of it. So this is what the actual t-shirt would look like. So the gray down there is the actual color. And uh, the spork there is uh, the, the sample that I actually had when we actually decided to set this up. Now, option two would be that you could actually pre-purchase your sponsorships for future installments. So we're offering three-year packages if, and you will get 3x rewards on sporks for doing this. So if you have any interest in prepaying and supporting sort of in advance your commitment, putting your marker down, then this is a good opportunity to do that. And if you'd like to talk about that more, you can just reach out to me on email. It's john at ethdenver.com. And the last part is anybody, sponsor or not, can contribute to the community uh, convertible grants pool and to the Colorado Jam incubator pools and to the Buffcorn Ventures pools. Um, just as a contribution to seed the community with the next generation of ideas. And for doing that, any amounts that come in um, before launch will get 3x rewards on Sporks. Finally, I'm happy to announce that ETH Denver 2022 is already being planned underway. We are yet to finalize dates to maximize both the virtual and in-person components. So we're actually having some debate on how to roll in Biddle Week and some of the other components that we've done historically. But it will be in February 2022. So please reserve your calendars. As is always, it's around the Valentine's Day, President's Day time. And we will be more precise about that in the very, very near term. Now, remember, this is our new friend. 
His name is Gwei, or their name is Gwei, I should say, because buffer corns are neither male or female. So my apologies for my misstep. But the Gwei is a rare young form of the buffer corn. And they, once like their friends, the spork marmots, use the spork as their tool of choice to fortify their biddlings. And Gwei is a reminder of our roots and our magic as buffer corns to build and create for the future of the decentralized world. And 2022 is the year of the Gwei. And again, just as a reminder of this, this is the Gwei is the rare t-shirt that we're putting out there in advance. Now, as is always important to us, we really need your feedback. We really want your feedback. Um, improvement is really how we've, we've gotten to where we are. We listen to the community, what's important to them, what we've done well, what we've done not done well. Um, and we're always looking to improve. So please go to eatthember.com slash feedback. We will be emailing everybody as well, but you're welcome to go there right now and offer your feedback. And that is all for me. So you've seen me enough on the live stream over the past week, and I've had a ton of fun doing it. And honestly, again, the most masochistic days of my life, but it's, it's nothing that I would trade. And before I sort of bring Oren McMillan on to explain the uh, quadratic voting and funding components that we're doing for the finalists, which I'm super excited to witness, I just wanted to give you one last sort of send off message from me. And that is that it's been an honor and a pleasure to be a part of this community. And the next generation of Eat Denver, and as we grow this to even expand our global footprint and community is, is something that I'm really looking forward to and giving people the platform and the ability in the blank canvas in the big tent to come and express their unique creativity. It's important that we give people the opportunity to, to do their best selves and Eat Denver is really gonna be leading the charge on that. So I hope you come support us. We look forward to getting the sports in your hands so that way you can go, you know, stake them, do what you need to do with them and be a part of the community into the future.